opened a bottle of Pirelli's elixir, and I say to you, it is nothing but an arrant fraud, concocted of piss and ink. He's right. You better than throw your money down the sewer. Ladies and gentlemen, take no notice of this madman. Who's to be the first for And furthermore, I have service no kings. Yet I warrant I can shave a cheek with ten times more dexterity than any street mountain. Eh? You see these razors? The finest in England. <coughs> I'll wager these against five pounds. But you are no match for me. You hear me, sir? You have accept my challenge or reveal yourself as a sham. Bravo! These are the dead fun weathers. Instruments like a this, one thing cannot be soon forgotten. You wager this against five pounds, sir? I do. Ha! You'll hear this foolish man watch and see how he will regret his folly. Five pounds it is, sir. Friends, neighbors, who's for free share? Make Mr. Todd, sir. Oh, oh, I'll I'll it, sir. And for the be the judge. Glad, as always, to oblige my friends. Yes, Mr. Todd, yes, sir. We can. Put it there, then.
A sweet you look in that soft muslin gown. It is nothing but an old dress, father. But fairer upon your young form than wings on an angel. Or if I were to think. Think what, father? If I were to think that you encouraged this young rogue, this sailor. I? A maid trained from the cradle to find him in modesty and obedience, the greatest of all virtues. Dear father, when have you ceased to warn me of the wickedness of men? Be no young men of the streets with only one thought in their heads. But there are men of different and far higher creed. I have one in mind for you. <laughs> A gentleman who would shield you from all earthly cares and guide you to the sober warmth of womanhood. A husband, a protector, and yet an ardent lover too. It is a man who through all the years has surely earned your affection. You!
But as I said, a monstrous tyrant. Oh, Mr. Todd, today, when the judge has gone to court, I shall slip into the house and plead with Joanna to fly with me tonight. But when I have her, where can I take her till I have hired a chaise to speed us home to Plymouth? Oh, Mr. Todd, if I could just lodge her here for an hour or two. Bring her, dear. Thank you, ma'am, thank you. I have your consent, Mr. Todd. Yes, go and come. Oh, a thousand blessings upon you both. I must go now, for surely the judge is off to be on the baby. Joanna, who'd have thought it? It's not fate, isn't it? You'll have her back before the day's out. For a few hours? Before he takes her off to the end of England? Oh, that sailor. Let him bring her in. And then since you're so hot for a little... That's the throat to slip, dear. Oh, Mr. T will make a lovely home for you and me. The poor thing, all those years, and not a scrap of my way affection. I'll soon change that old. Remember, there was a maternal heart of mine. Good morning, Mr. Todd. And with your business, Senora. Well, how do you do, Senor? I'm sure. You need the business with Mr. Todd, Senora. Even you will give the permission. Oh, yes, indeed. I'll just pop on down to be advised. Look at it now. Don't look like it's had a kind word since half past an hour. What would you say, son, to a last juicy meat pie, eh? Your teeth is strong, I hope. Oh, yes, Mum. Then come and pick up. Mr. Thumb. What's In your breath. Oh. Call me Danny. Danny the Higgins are name. But it's not professional. <laughs> not much. Don't imagine you're pretty at all of it. I know you find a bit back now. Give me not mind. Why? That's my boy, Tucky. It'll hold me over to your customers start coming. Then only half your profit should be after handed over to me every week on a Friday. Share and share alike. All right, Mr. Benjamin Barker. Why do you call me that? At least you've got a nice full of air on you. Well, um, to tell you the truth, it's awful up. Oh, go on. You don't remember me. Why should you? I was just a dull and old Irish lad, just hired for a couple of weeks, sweeping up hair and such like. But I remember these. And you, Mr. Benjamin Barker, later transported to Botany Bay for life. So, Mr. Todd, is it a deal? Or do I run down the street from his pal, being a bandard? You think I just
wish ever to temper justice with mercy. Your persistent dedication to a life of crime is an abomination before God and man. I have no alternative, therefore, but to sentence you to hang by the neck until you are dead. Court adjourned. It is perhaps remiss of me to close the court so early. The stench of those miserable wretches at the bar was so offensive to my nostrils. I feared my eagerness for fresher air might well impair the soundness of my judgment. Well, sir, the adjournment is fortunate for me, sir, for it's the day we celebrate my sweet little Annie's birthday. And to have her daddy back so soon to have and kiss her will be a crowning joy on such an happy day. It's a happy day for me, too. Walk home with me, for I have news for you. In order to shield her from the evils of this world, I have decided to manage Joanna next Monday. Ah, oh, sir, happy news indeed. Strange, but I offered myself to her to show a certain reluctance. But uh, that's natural enough in a young girl. Now that she's had time to consider my proposal in a more sensible frame of mind, I'm sure she will greet it quite well. Thank you.
morning ablution. Fret not, thy my lord, I never place my lord, a barber, my lord, of skill. Thus armed with a shaven face, my lord, some odour colour to grace my lord, and much to enhance the chase, my lord. Tells me you are the most accomplished of all the barbers in the city. That is most gracious of him. 
But please excuse the modesty of my establishment. I only moved into these quarters a few days ago, and there are still a few necessaries yet to come. Sit, sir, please. Sit. And what may I do for you, sir? Stylish trimming of the hair, soothing skin massage. You see, sir, a man infatuated with the heart.
sweet way neither you nor any other vile corrupting youth shall ever lay eyes on her again. But, sir, I think that as for you, Arthur, it is all too clear what company you keep. Service of well and old day custom. We'll have none of mine. Do it! 